Now let's bring in George Tillis, senior markets correspondent here. George, we're talking AMD. Kind of wanted to hit the, hit on this one. It's up over 20% so far uh, this month, 86% for the year. I mean, big gains here. But is this all in anticipation of their competitor to NVIDIA's GPU chip? Or is this based on the fact that, hey, maybe we bottomed out in uh, maybe the PC yeah. segment? I think it's a combination of both. I mean, if you think about AMD, they, they aren't necessarily as robust in terms of the technology and the power and performance of NVIDIA's chips. But uh, when it comes down to general purpose artificial intelligence chips, uh, I think uh, AMD is growing market share. And that's just what they talked about during their conference call back on the 31st of October. If you notice, the stock actually dipped lower and since then has actually been on a tear to the upside. Uh, trading now above $120 a share. But I think if you look at their their data center and client services group, that grew about 42%. Total sales for the business actually grew only 4%, and that's part parcel of the, of the lagging impact of the CPU markets. But uh, if you look at earnings for the quarter that they reported as well, they resumed growth. They, the estimates were 67 cents, which is, again, uh, break even relative to the same quarter last year. They actually beat it by three cents coming in at 70 cents. So we are seeing resumption of earnings growth for AMD. I think the CPU markets uh, and the PC markets are probably going to go through a refresh cycle. I think that's a catalyst here for uh, this particular name. If you notice also uh, Intel uh, as well has actually been trading well uh, in tandem with AMD. But I also think, uh, you know, there's a duopoly forming here. You've got AMD which doesn't have, of course, the uh, the best chips out there, but one would say that they're good enough. And, and I think that uh, pro provides a value proposition for a lot of the enterprises that are looking for general purpose artificial intelligence technologies that AMD supplies. George, AMD claims that this MI300, their new chip is gonna be the strongest GPU ever, and it's going to be the one that competes with Avinia. You guys are right. This is a two, tiered story in AMD, right? It's it's they're competing with NVIDIA and becoming a major player in AI, and it's the recovery in PCs. The question, George, is number one, which one's better? Which one's more important for, 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 for this name? If you could pick one or the other, which would you rather? Because a recovery in, 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 in PCs, which it, it, it's showing signs of that right now, that's just as important as their venture into AI. So I think the PC markets, the mobile and desktop markets are, again, a steady form of a source of revenue and earnings for AMD. But there's no doubt the growth story is really an artificial intelligence uh, applications from a GPU standpoint. Not to mention, you know, a lot of people don't realize that, that AMD is a very comprehensive business. They actually bought Xilinx, which gives them more access into fill programmable and system on a chip technologies. Now this is used primarily in the automotive space, industrial automation, factory automation. These are all industrial-based technology. So AMD is extremely comprehensive business. I mean, they've got mobile desktop, server, data centers, artificial intelligence, industrial, you know, automotive, uh, and also feel, feel programmable, you know, and their core bread and butter is still the CPU business, but the growth story really is, is the, the, the what else applications. And I think that's, again, uh, sort of uh, missing when we think about AMD because a lot of people still think about AMD as still sort of that standard CPU, uh, you know, processor, if you will, uh, company. They've they've developed their businesses quite uh, quite wide, and both vertically and, and horizontally integrated across multiple different industries and multiple different sectors. Uh, yeah, they did mention, uh, Georgia, as, as you kind of hit on uh, last quarter, Lisa Sue came out and said, hey, GPU revenue about $400 million, uh, last quarter. They expect that to be over $2 billion in 2024 right. as they compete head-to-head -head with NVIDIA. Uh, but NVIDIA is making uh, innovations, and they're going to have a new chip uh, in early 2024 also. So the competition heating up, maybe costs come down, maybe margins get squeezed. We'll have to see. Uh, wait and see on that one. All right, thanks to George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent here, breaking down AMD for us.